Fox, and uh, today is Wednesday, the 16th of February, of February. and uh, yesterday afternoon I was involved with it in an accident where I was walking along the center lane of a um, basically a three lane setup, two lanes of traffic, one for turning. Uh, I was walking so I across the street because the area that I wanted to cross was had steady traffic. Uh, as I was walking down there, I kept turning around to see if traffic was clear. And at one time when I turned around, I saw a car barreling down on me. <coughs> I saw a car barreling down on me. The car hit me. Or I could really react and set me fine. Uh, how can I describe what I felt with that? Um, shock at first, and then excruciating pain in my right shoulder and my leg. And I just managed to roll on my back a lot of pain and just basically waited for the EMS to come. Uh, there were some people that stopped and one lady was kind enough to help me and comfort me throughout the process and I thank her for that. I didn't get her name. But um, while I was waiting for the shortly after the car hit me, I also heard it hit a pole and the power line go pop. So apparently the library in Wake County Public Library on the camera village lost their power again for the second time in like three days. That's funny. Normally it would be funny. But anyway, she uh, did call me later today. Today is the day after it. But, uh, had my phone turned off so I didn't get the call. But she left a message saying to call her and I will call her later. Um, but anyway, I waited for the EMS to come. Just basically to catch myself busy, you know, breathing hard kind of thing to, to try and manage the pain. And sorry, my throat is dry. And EMS finally got here. <clears throat> a little bit better. Come on, focus. Yeah. Uh, he must got there. Uh, packed me up. Very difficult process for me. A very painful process. Because my shoulder and my leg were hurting the whole time. And so finally packed me into the ambulance where they tried to stabilize my arm. They deteriorate something where my arm hung on pillows. I couldn't move my arm. Basically, well, I can't move it into that position now, but uh, basically it was a kind of a uh, salute kind of position. Uh, you know, the old-fashioned uh, you know, perpendicular kind of thing. And I couldn't move beyond that. But they uh, stabilized it and uh, tried to put an IV line into me. They uh, failed miserably the first time because they put it on my wrist. And, well, they tried to actually put it on my arm and they, they failed on that. But they, they put it on my wrist. That was painful too. But uh, they gave me some morphine, 15 milligrams. You think that would be enough to get rid of the pain or at least control it, but no, that wasn't enough. Um, but, uh, the journey to the hospital was kind of bumpy, and every time I moved, I hurt. But we did finally make it to the hospital. And, of course, I was in excruciating pain the whole time. The doctors thought that the arm was just, the shoulder was dislocated. And uh, so they took some x-rays of basically my whole body. 
and uh, determined that not only was my arm dislocated, but it was broken just uh, above the shoulder, just below the shoulder. And uh, so they basically knocked me out for a good 10 minutes and we located the arm the shoulder, the arm within the shoulder. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't, didn't think of anything. I mean, uh, for me, one moment passed where I was talking to them, another moment passed where I wasn't talking to them, and my arm was now sitting on my chest. But I wanted to show you the, the shoulder as it stands now, because it's a very small one. You can't really see it very well there. But, uh, sorry about that. See that? That's definitely swollen. Especially compared to the other shoulder and my leg. They determined that the the leg had a broken bone in it. It's just below the knee. And it's now in a cast. And right now the leg hurts more when I move it than the shoulder does. So basically, I spent all of last night not moving and all of today not moving until just now sorry about that that's better and have it have to make an appointment with them to go see the orthopedics people again but I can't afford it. Uh, shelter won't pay for narcotics. So I did have a little bit of Percocet left over from the gallbladder operation. I can show you the scars if you want, but no, I won't do that. Um, so I've got a little bit of Percocet left for that. That helps a little bit. I've got aspirin for when that runs out. Basically, I'm going to be stuck in the shelter now for probably a good week. But we'll see how it works from day to day. But I wanted to show you everything that was going on with me, and I, I am alive, uh, uh, if not entirely well. Um, that's really about it. Thanks for watching.